It's something you never want to happen, but after a string of college campus shootings across the country this month, local colleges have been stressing the importance of being prepared for such a situation. St. Cloud State University, St. John's, St. Ben's, and the St. Cloud Technical and Community College all have procedures and plans in place if there was a shooter on their campuses. Our biggest focus is keeping our students, staff, and faculty safe, so if we know where the individual is, we can try to section that area off and get people out if it's safe. Or um, another part of what we do is teach people how to shelter in place, lock down internally, and to hide. We know that within two minutes, um, we're gonna have an officer here reacting to whatever the situation is and going in and trying to um, address the threat immediately. St. John's Life Safety, Life Safety Services, College of St. Benedict, uh, Campus Security, um, they both, uh, work with the local law enforcement um, so they would be very much the first responders uh, to a situation that occurs on campus. Every campus would have a similar strategy. Call 911, alert students to find shelter and lockdown, have public safety groups contain the situation where they can, and wait for local law enforcement to arrive. Closing the door, shutting off the lights, barricading the door, something that you'd probably want to do, especially if there's a shooter right outside the door. Um, if you can get out and, and safely, then I'm sure a lot of people would do so because we understand human nature and what people's reactions are going to be. But obviously the safest thing to do would be to trust your instincts and if you can get out of the way of harm, then to do so. In the age where every student has a cell phone, each campus also has a text message alert system. If there was an active shooter, students would know right away through a text or email. We're fairly dependent on local law enforcement for their response. So if a situation did happen, uh, we have a text messaging system on campus that we would utilize called Star Alert to notify the campus. It's going to depend on where that active threat is. So um, we encourage them, if they're not near the area, that they evacuate and get away from the area. Um, if they are in the area, then of course we want them to shelter in place or what people commonly refer to as a lockdown. School officials also stress the importance of having support groups and psychological services readily available for students so those who need help can have easy access to it before a violent incident happens. If there's some red flags that come about among some of the students, that that can be brought to that group and so things can be addressed in a very timely manner. Reporting from St. Cloud and Collegeville, I'm Dan DeBond, WJON.